What's up everyone? Before we get started with part 2 of the Game of Thrones Season 7 plot leak, I just wanted to quickly remind everyone watching this video that the plot leak is to be taken with a grain of salt and is more for entertainment value than anything else. I originally found this leak on Reddit and have added my own speculation mixed in with known spoilers from the website Watchers on the Wall. We left off last with Jon receiving word via Raven that Bran and Arya have returned home to Winterfell. Jorah has just reunited with Daenerys, seemingly cured of his grayscale. This is about halfway through the season, so let's continue. In Episode 6, Tyrion, Jaime, Bronn, and Davos will all have a meeting on the shores of Dragonstone, in which Tyrion will attempt to persuade his older brother into a peaceful surrender. Jaime, being a Lannister, of course, ignores the warning from Tyrion. Side note, if this scene does actually take place, it will be the first time the brothers have seen each other since Tyrion killed their father. Last I heard, Jaime wanted to kill him. It will be interesting to see the scene unfold, to say the least. This episode is split and shares some screen time with actors in the North. John gathers a crew of men and sets sails towards a northeastern keep. Some of the men included in his group are, wait, before I say this next part, you might want to go ahead and sit down. Okay, you ready for this? John's group consists of Beric Dondarrion, Thoros of Myr, Tormund Giants Bane, Jorah the Andal, and the cherry on top of the cake, Gendry Baratheon. Yes, I know this plot leak is getting a little ridiculous, but see, here's the thing. Gendry, the actor who plays him, Joe Dempsey, was just spotted several weeks back returning to the main studio in Belfast. When you take that into consideration along with the leaked clip of what seems to be Davos and Gendry in King's Landing, it becomes a little bit more believable. Supposedly the whole point of this trip is to capture an undead white alive so that he can show the rest of Westeros. You may want to take your seat again for this next part if you decided to start walking around. In their attempt to capture the white, John and company are overwhelmed by the Night King's armies, and Thoros is killed by an undead polar bear. Now, we have seen the Night King use undead horses before. Perhaps a White Walker is riding on that polar bear that kills Thoros. John ends up being surrounded on all sides when, out of nowhere, Danny ex Machina shows up. Once Danny arrives to the scene, somehow in the struggle, Viserion is killed but resurrected by the Night King and becomes his new mount. I'm not even going to comment on that part. Wrapping up episode 6, John is almost killed by the Whites, but Benjen shows up and saves him, similar to Bran back in Season 6, only this time Benjen does not make it out of the confrontation. At the very end of the episode, John is convinced to retire his title of King of the North by Daenerys. She tells him he will have her support in the coming War for the Dawn as long as he retires his title. Episode 7 starts out with Littlefinger being sentenced to death, but I'm going to save that for Part 3 of this video series. In the latest news from Watchers on the Wall, we have a scene with leaked images involving Theon Greyjoy and Jon Snow. I bring this up because this is officially confirmed for Season 7, and I want you all's opinion on how pissed Jon Snow will be when he first encounters Theon, especially since Sansa is not there to protect him. In my opinion, and judging from the pics, it looks like Jon headbutts him and then storms away. But let me know your opinion on the matter down below in the comment section. Adding on to what I said earlier about Sansa executing Peter Baelish, apparently there is a plot in which Sansa and Arya are pitted against each other by Littlefinger involving a letter that Sansa wrote to her family back when she was being held captive by the Lannisters. I didn't really want to touch on that too much in this video for the simple fact that there haven't been very many spoilers about Baelish this season, and I wanted to give us a little bit more time for things to come up. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Part 3 will be out soon. Links to my social media as always are in the description down below. You can click up here for part 1 of the plot leak. And the like goal for this video is 93. So let's see if we can smash that. My name's Mark and this has been Sir Hunt's Refuse.